Um, but bad bacteria is going to cause you to crave certain foods um, or bacteria in the wrong places in your intestines are going to cause you to crave certain foods. Um, the other one is mineral and nutrient deficiencies. So like if you're craving salt the week before your cycle, like burgers, like fat and salt, that's usually an indicator that you need more salt. So salt and fat, um, which can be an indicator of uh, your adrenals being a little bit off. So we can address that in a couple of ways. We can address that by adding some adrenal supports like removing caffeine that is constantly draining your adrenal glands, um, adding a, like an adrenal support supplement, which I know we have a link for in the Facebook group is the one that I recommend um, that just like nourishes your adrenal glands. Um, and then the other one is addressing it through food and nutrition. So that would be like literally grabbing a pinch of salt and adding it to your water. Um, Himalayan salt, not like table salt that, you know, the white and rich table salt, you don't want that. Um, that can really actually really help because your adrenals need sodium. So they need to have sodium to be functioning optimally. Um, and if we don't have that sodium, then we're more likely to feel that like, give me all the stuff, like kind of like a pregnancy craving is almost what it feels like. Like I can't live without that milkshake. Um, so if you're craving salt, it's typically salt and fat that you need. Um, start there by like getting that through some good fats in your diet. If that is, doesn't shift it over like a period of a month, um, then I would be looking at adding some adrenal support stuff and we can go over, you know, how to, how to do that and what that looks like for you personally. If you're craving a lot of sugar, um, typically it means that you need carbohydrates and you need fat. So, um, meaning like good, you know, good carbs, like sweet potatoes or, um, you know, I, that is like more of a starchy carb, like quinoa, brown rice, things like that, that can be, um, really beneficial to the body. Um, and, and typically like if that doesn't curb it, then it's, it's usually fat that you need. So, um, you kind of have to play around with what your body needs at a given time and being proactive about making healthier choices. So that doesn't mean you don't ever have pizza or hamburgers or French fries. Like, I'm not saying that it just means like, if I'm craving that for seven days, my body is like, needs nutrients. Like I gotta be, I gotta be getting those really good nutrients for my body. Mm -hmm.